Hello guys, hello and welcome to another episode of Hearts Fire 4 Kaiserreich and the Spanish Empire. I totally forgot which mod this was for a second there. So, um, yeah, lost parts of Italy and then the Nubian Federation. After that, um, I guess Somali will finally get their turn of being beaten down to a pulp. And then we have basically South and North America to take care of. Uh, somehow I really don't look forward to the claim war against the combined syndicates of America. Somehow I really don't look forward to claim war against this. They are scraping the barrel and total mobilization. Right, alright, 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 no. You do whatever you want to do, I'm not doing that way, at least. So, I am currently at service by requirement, I'm gonna switch to... Oh, I've already switched. Oh, right, right, we really went down pretty harsh against it during this war. Yeah, minus 400,000 men, and we also deployed a whole lot of troops. Um, I think someone... In... Oh, actually, why do I always do this? I start the episode, then I realize, oh, wait, I was gonna check something from the last episode. Or at least bring up something special. Um, I would like to remember exactly who gives me credits for the... Or who gives me these ideas, because they're actually... It's pretty nice. And I, as I say, or as I usually say, I read, right now I read about 95% of all the comments you ever write, so yeah, I read that. Um, okay, what do we see here? Um, okay, top right, top ranked, I'm a horrible person, um, Franco did nothing wrong, Spain is an island. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, kill half a um, million young Italian men. Oh, when did that happen? <laughs> Uh, now I can't exactly see, but someone get, someone said something about the, that I should probably pull some of these forces and deploy them right here, and then declare war against the new game, or uh, not declare war against them, but call in my German allies, because that would open up a much, much larger front, and, as we know, they have no manpower. Everything they lose now is permanent. Well, so far they haven't improved, that, well, their conscription law which is a bit weird but they are having a national focus which probably gives me some time before they actually will do it and I don't know for some reason it seems like the AI has something else in mind that is more important than raising the manpower level so I will just accept that and well do something more fun with that time so right here we have 70 divisions which is way too much to be honest I'm gonna pull this one down, at least 18 more divisions, so 50 divisions, even that's too much actually. I'm gonna pull 30 more divisions, so 39 divisions, that should be enough to bring this down. They're basically done, for actually, oh god, that feels a bit scary now. Uh, let's pull back 10 divisions, 50 divisions, yeah, that's that's good enough. And I'm gonna take the rest of these divisions and just deploy right here. Actually, I should probably leave, uh, like, well, barren 10 divisions or something like that, just, uh... Very, very limited force right here. Let's do 12 divisions. And let's delete that. Let's do all of you as garrison order. And let's only guard the ports and cities, please. Of this entire coastline. Because, like, it's it was Italy who mostly invaded us. And they are basically dead right now. They're basically dead. And the Nubian Federation, yeah, you will have other things to think about once I'm through with you. Uh, let's see, should we actually have you doing the same leader, Ned? No, no, it's good to have several big field commanders that could actually do something good. Please remove them from here, because, well, limi limiting the front is something I want to do right now. Oh crap, they might actually grab that from me. It would be nice to hold this fort. Oh, we actually managed to take it in time. Uh, all of you guys really need to assign, well, get over right here as quickly as possible. Oh crap, that was not the point, that was not the point. I forgot I will be moving everyone, not only while well, the troops not standing at the front line. Uh, mistakes, but it seems like together with this fault, fort, these two tank division will hold. Ugh, lucky that. What, what, oh wait, wait. Oh, some of these units are assigned here and not, oh crap. That will take some time for you to actually get up here, but well, I guess we just have to deal with it. Let's see, can you break through right here? Please, just break them. They're, they, they're barely troops, they're like, I don't know, they are toys if you compare with real troops. They don't have manpower, they don't have equipment, this should be uh, easy. easy. 
It should be so easy bringing them down. But somehow you really refuse. Please attack them from two sides, that will reduce their ability to attack. We are breaking them, and there we go. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. There, uh, 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 there we go. Come on, stop, stop it. I want to grab half of you. Okay, let's do it right now anyway. And attack right here. So you can't reinforce this anymore. And you guys just march in right there. Cool. So we're going to bring down Italy without any big problems. Nice, nice. Um, outdated equipment. I can't, can't actually hear the music. There we go. Uh, so, what do we do? We have enough. Oh, wait, outdated equipment. That was the thing. I was looking for if we had more factories. Anti tank guns. Uh, no. Oh, crap. Oh, right. As soon as we upgraded you guys, you started having, well, minuses. And maybe it's not the best idea actually to start a war with a larger front right now. That would cost even more equipment for me. Hmm. Maybe we should start. Well. Yeah, let's actually wait until they are no longer um, puppets. Let's wait until all of these three are, well, integrated puppets before we do anything. Yeah, that's actually a much better idea. That would give me so much extra, well, industry. It would be ridiculous. And uh, yeah, I like ridiculous amounts of industry. I really do. So let's wait for that. That's going to take a t take some time, but it will definitely be worth it. Right now, we can't even see how much they have right now, so... I'm a tiny bit worried. Uh, are you at being at? Yeah, you're being attacked. Let's see, can we attack them right here to break some of them? Maybe. At least distract them a bit. Okay, cool. We broke them. Then let's just hold for a while. You should reinforce the front line, please. Is supply not good enough? It is. So why are you not all, not all of you just getting to the front? That's a big question, but I don't have an answer for it. That will take some time to actually break, but as soon as we get some more industry, it's going to be all right. I don't know why I said it so weirdly, but it will be all right once we break them. This is taking hell of a lot of time. Hmm. This is minus 0 0.5, right? Every day. Actually, it doesn't say. Huh. But it is every day, right? Minus subjects. 39, yeah, it seems to be every day. So that will still take me 200 days, and that's, well, a very long time. I would like to reduce it a bit more, if possible. Hmm. Can I somehow make myself better until that moment? Um, land night attack 15%, that's just one of the best things in the entire game. And I should definitely already have had it. Okay, let's just give it some time then. I have... Well, I have tons of time. All we have to do is, well, bring you down and we're going to be really a hell of a lot pow more powerful. We're going to get two more big puppets. And, well, once we declare war against the United States, well, combined syndicates of America, we're going to have a, well, pretty strong power base right here. And right here. We can't forget about Somalia, of course. Uh, then we have a couple nations right here we need to bring down. And... Right, Empire Japan is Australia right now. Wait, do I have to own us Australia? Please tell me I don't. No, I don't. Whew. That's British Empire. Uh, let's see. Yeah, these these are isn't that much troops. Yeah, I would like a couple more like from here before I actually do the war against them. So yeah, just waiting a tiny bit. That that would be nice. Uh, let's see. Could we break them right here somehow? You four attack right here. Because if we break them right here, these troops are surrounded. No, doesn't seem like it. Too bad. Would have been nice. Would have been very, very nice. So can we somehow speed up the entire thing with bringing those two nations down? You are almost independent right now. Holy crap. Can I somehow fix something to you? Well, I could build up your industry. And it's quite critical that I actually do it. Because I really don't want you to become independent. That would be very bad for me. 25 days per thing. Yes, please. Then do it. We could do the same thing for the other people. But I'd rather actually not have you go, well, autonomous puppet level, actually. It's, we're kind of, we're kind of still safe. But, well, I'd rather have you, well, fall. Because that decreases it by a ton, apparently. Ooh. 
What if we did this? Because this will help us. Hmm, seems like the effects doesn't disappear, even when you remove the building. If we did something like this, and then did... Wait, I'm not done yet. Oh crap, that was not the point. And then we do like this. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Isn't there really a faster way of doing it? I don't think so, actually. Oh, wait, all we do is... This, uh, one there, 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 and just make them every other. And then, well, Germany can have three in the end. So basically splitting up our production between those two nations. A bit more focused on Germany because I want them to fall down because, well... As soon as they fall down, we're going to get more industry and be able to do this more. But some also kept at United Kingdom, so, well, they won't actually be independent. So, let's see. Has this already had a good effect? Actually, already five. That's really, really good. It seems like it's based upon the amount of production you do to them, not actually what you build, where you build it. or So, yeah, just production spent on your puppet, which is a pretty good... Actually, it's a pretty smart thing to look at. So, outdated equipment, nope, nope, still only anti-tank guns, and I'm definitely not going for that, because I don't want to be missing that too, if I get to choose. Air Force, still everything very much focused just on the Iberian region, and I agree with you. Oh crap, you're actually taking quite a bit of penalty right now. How is the situation? 600 fighters, could we challenge that? We could challenge it, we would not win, but we could challenge it. So, every plane I have, please move. You're no longer needed in the Iberian region. Yeah, sure, you're gonna take this over right now with your fighters, but I don't care. Because if I take over your homeland, then it won't matter. Because if I take over your homeland, you lose. And that's the difference between me and you. I lose some factories, I lose some time. You lose. All of this will be mine. So, let's see. Um, I'm saving up bullet power right now. And not, well, I'm not saving up bullet power. I'm just saying right now that I'm saving bullet power so I can demote them as soon as they, well, get, well, low enough. Uh, continuously. Oh, God, we're producing these ones way faster. Oh, right, because it's level 1 fort and we go super quickly to build. Uh, mistake we made. Okay, let's just finish off everything right here. That should have given enough well that should have been enough to make sure that they won't go independent let's double check that very quickly well not go independent but well hold them off for a while for that well basically week okay a bit more but couple weeks well we brought it down by 25 which is well a hell of a lot for that short time so if we just come on Bring down Germany very quickly. Then I will focus 100% back on you, my dear, dear British Empire. Because right now, focusing my entire industry on Germany, this goes extremely quickly. How much is it every single day? We're at 24. One day later, 29. So minus 5 every single day. And I just realized the game is running extremely slow. Attack from several directions, please. Exactly like that. Wait, we pushed in and grabbed that territory, but I didn't even do anything. Hmm. You are really trying to break me right here, and that's a really smart thing to do, actually. Because if you broke me right there, then I would be in a big, big trouble. And once again, we have troops from the Dominion of India. Oh, wait, wait, you have been standing there all the time. Right, this is just my initial position. Right, never mind. Never mind, it's fine. <laughs> uh, all of you, you have a plan right there. Could you execute it and win? I don't think so. But I'm definitely going to try. Uh, could you tank? Just stop with that and, yeah, attack exactly right there. Um, no, this is a very bad and stupid idea and I'm just going to lose tons of troops. But what I will definitely do is attack right here. 
removing eight divisions right there basically for free sounds like a very good idea to me come on come on Germany I know you want to be independent okay now it's really slow My CPU is at 50%, my memory is at 33%. So why is the game going so incredibly slow? I have these random moments on my computer where it's, well, suddenly starts to go extremely slow. I always look at Steam to see if it's that. Any, 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 any of you guys have an idea what it might be? When, like, your computer just suddenly goes extremely slow. Randomly. And it seems to happen quite often when I actually record games. Hmm. Well, might just be the game then. Might just be the game. Well, it does happen in some other games too. And it doesn't even have to be high tech games. It can be actually quite low level. Oh crap, what are you doing? What the hell are you doing right there? 16 divisions up there now. And with, with now, I mean now. Strategic redeploy the shit out of you up here now If you break me right here, then my units will be completely cut off Well, actually they do have a couple of ports right here. It would be bad. It would be bad. Just let's just end it at that It would be bad if they took these this territory God, I'm so lucky sometimes that I notice it I should be better at looking behind me, but when I'm really confident I don't and well Yeah, I make mistakes then I ask anyone else. I'm just hu I'm just a human. Or are we dancers? I'm shining. I have to go. And I'm on my knee listening to dancer. Oh, let's not. <laughs> um, so this is still going quite well. Otherwise, if we well don't count this little mistake. Okay, good, good. We managed to break the mirror. Otherwise, it, the idea to stop them with the redeployment would have been extremely bad. This is also one of the reasons I really like to talk about the well, super good thing about redeploying everyone to the same position, because the front will change if you come approaching it from one special direction. And like here, they push out, bring, make a stop for it basically here. Then all of these units will be stuck fighting this province until they break. If they don't break that province. Yeah, then they will try to redeploy and then they, all of these people on this side would have time to well push in more here. And these units might have been just completely dead, surrounded, whatever. So that's why I would have liked to just redeploy right here and then they will spread around this entire way. Like on both sides at the same time rather than coming from one direction. Yeah, this, is, this was actually a prime example of why I like to do my redeployment as I usually do it. Excellent, good. Now I finally have a good, well, maybe I should cut stuff, maybe I should cut, th these stuff should be in my tips and trick video that I promised for, uh, I don't know how long, since I began YouTubing one and a half year ago, <laughs> no actually not one and a half years ago, probably only one, actually when did I begin, probably one year and, actually I think it might have been, one year and like one two months ago hmm, I don't remember exactly but yeah something like that good Franz you're pushing in using your tanks Ex wait 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 tanks have the garrison wow that's weird the AI is supposed to use this unit to indicate a garrison division garrison division well this gotta be the best garrison division I've ever seen well, if you don't compare the units where you actually want to use, but you're forced to use as garrisoning. Uh, Alright. Come on, Germany. I, I know you want to be my puppet. Like, my very, very integrated puppet. And right here, actually, it's still going down. Very, very slowly, but it is going down. Wait, 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 what? It works like this? If I don't use factories, you use them? Or is, but why are you used right here then? And not on these? Weird. Very, very... Okay, I want to I want to try something. Hello Germany, if I tell you to build something right there, but then I will just demote that to under me, then you will use your factories to build it.
66 days, alright. And did you get... Oh, wait, wait, I'm trying to already build this, so we need to do it with someone else. Um, if we did this. Here. And scroll this one down all the way. Then you would use your nine factories. Let's see. Just 84 days. It ticks down to 83 days. And we check right here. For United Kingdom. And autonomy effect from Master Zero. Good. At least that. That was all I wanted. But you can still modify what your puppet will build. Interesting. Very interesting. I have to look into that more. Specifically to see if I can abuse it some way. Please try to break them right here. Ha here would be the best breaking point ever. And right now my air force is really taking a beating. Two birds with one stone. Or two a a airplanes with one stone. Mm, can you make a... Exp no, no, you can't do anything fun with that. At least I'm not figuring out anything. Maybe you guys... It's always fun to have your suggestions. Okay, three more tanks. I think I want you on this front. As many tanks as possible would be awesome. Uh, let's see. Come on. Come on, Germany. Very, very soon. Germany, Germany, Germany. Come to Papa. Wait, am I even building anything there? No, I'm not building anymore. That's why it suddenly slowed down a ton. <laughs> Alright, let's bump that one up. We didn't miss any other province. No, so I guess we can build a one additional military factory or something. Oh, wait, that was wrong. That was wrong button. What I want to do is that one. This should basically be it. Let's add one more. Because I'm still gonna steal... I'm actually not gonna steal any of these two. Well, actually, I'm stealing 75%. So yeah, I will probably be stealing one of them, at least. So, the more the merrier. Thank you. Experimental, experimental rockets. We want to continue with rocket engines. Please, and all of you, you can, well, as soon as you're done, get deployed right there. Do I have a plan for you? Yeah, you do have a plan. Good. And after Budapest, that's also good. Oh, we actually broke them right here. <gasps> Excellent. Now, all we would have to do is to break them right there. On their most defensible position. In a city with a port. But if we broke them right there, we'd be done. We have one division station right here. Is that really all the defense we want to give? I'm gonna grab a couple divisions just in case. So you are, well, so I'm certain to have some kind of defense right here at least. Uh, how is the supply? Still very good? Yes, cool. Uh, let's see, it would be nice if we could smash through and make one front out of this. Wait, do you have so few divisions right now? Apparently you do. No, no, Daniel, wait. Just wait a tiny bit longer. A tiny, tiny, tiny bit more. And we'll be done. Tiny bit more. Don't throw it away right now because you see a prime opportunity. I, I, I'm just looking. They have 40 divisions. They can't cover, cover this entire thing. I would smash through them. And wait, wait. German Empire is back on the map. Huh. Yeah, you... Wait, they, weren't you like completely removed? Just a tiny, tiny speck on the map. But have you really managed to build up and come back? Wait, or were you larger? Am I thinking of another campaign? I don't think so. Hmm. Anyway, cool. Welcome back. If it's a welcome back. Let's see, Russia, you're still having trouble with these small nations. You have seemed to have grind to a halt right here. Um, or, but wait, Japan is at war with you, you are not with them, you're very friendly with them at least, and you're attacking right here, so you can't push more, oh yeah, the world is still just very much, well, burning. Wait, Tibet, you are at war with who? Okay, so you two are at war with each other. Turkey, are you at war with anyone? No. Persia, you seem to expand it quite a bit, recreating a Persian empire right there. Bulgaria, you are quite big. God. Well, this is really, really burning. Except you, you seem... To oh, actually, wait, you're at war with... The entire Entente. Oh, right, because, the other, yeah, the part right here 
the let's see what were they called was it american union state no pacific states of america you joined the entente in the last moment come on come on just a tiny bit more now a day yeah i knew it i knew it must have been something s small and silly like that and there we go you want to be switched reduce subject autonomy do it and there we go how many military factories give me a lot of them just have a daily tick to update uh, guys where are my military factories you are into where are my military factories where, where are my civilian factories for that sake. Hey. Where are my factories? I'm gonna save and reload just to see if it works. I love this picture. It's so fancy. Isn't this when they created, well, when they created German Empire? There we go, there we go. Maybe it just ha needed one more day or two. But there we go, 40 more military factories, 40 more lovely factories to me. Thank you. So, British Empire, I'm not gonna trade more with you. I'm gonna trade a bit with, um, I'm actually gonna trade more with you. Give me that. And I'm gonna do something like this. So for all the XF civilian factory we got, we got, well, 19. I'm gonna make sure that, well, you stay with me. Mm, first order business should be... Actually, we can finish those two. And the rest, let's actually not just build infrastructure, that's useless. Let's make sure that you will be a valuable ally. Mm, let's cancel all of these and mark them to the top. And then just bump these two up. Thank you. And otherwise keep going exactly as you are. Now we're gonna force yeah, you down. While the other ones are gonna slowly, slowly take by the focus. This one we're gonna force down as quickly as freaking possible. So there we go. More military factory means, well, hello anti-air, hello artillery, hello infantry equipment. I hear you need a couple more factories. There we go. Anti-air artillery. Oh, anti-tank. You, I didn't want to upgrade you. Well, I want to upgrade you right now. Let's give you a full one right there. And let's see. Artillery. And anti-air. Anti-air. Right there. And probably anti-tank is going to need a couple more factories. So, anti-tank. And let's give infant equipment. We're going to give you half full, half full, half full. And as many as possible. Let's give half full and then just fill them up in this order. Actually, let's switch you two around. Cool, that means we need even more steel. Which means we're gonna steal all from you, no. Uh, I think I'm going to actually trade a bit with France. Because France should be, well, on the really, really edge of, well, well switching over. And I could just do like this. Before you do anything else in this entire world, build a couple military factories right there. Ten slots. So right now we're building in both, well, France, Germany, just to really make sure that they actually stay at this level. And then, um, yeah, so now, hello Germany, let's call, actually, let's wait a bit. Let's wait a bit and actually have these factories do something first. But I love, I really, really like it. Mm, sometimes I really like myself that we did the dispersed industry just to begin with everyone on 35% efficiency. That's so lovely. That's so, so, so lovely. Thank you, myself. You're welcome, Daniel. And there we go. They should really help me in, well, just generally build up everything. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Reset slot available. We are going to... Not yet. Ah. 
level 5 right there. Uh, let's see, tanks, tanks, no, oh wait, wait, maybe, maybe, yes, tanks, hello, tank, tank, you wanna join the army, yes you do, 31 days, oh you really wanna join the army, you are so excited, uh, let's bring down this now, nothing can stop us anymore, so you seem to have pulled back most of the forces right here, well it's kinda insanimal because if I break you right here then you're stuck on this tiny island, and you can't escape. And there we go. You can't escape it anymore with these 11 divisions. Thank you. You 13, please get deployed right here so you can't break through right here while you just go in and clean up the last part. Very nice. So just give them a tiny bit longer and then I will declare this war against the Nubian Federation and we'll see how this goes. Actually giving you more time to maybe get the next manpower level. I would rather not like to do that. German Union, do you want to join my war? Yes, you do. And there we go. And... There we go. Really forcing us to... Actually, oh, wait. We could probably unite these fronts now. That would be pretty nice, actually, to be honest. Uh, you guys, you don't have any well, any units in front of you. It seems like uh, you're kind of a bit more interested about this front right now. And the Nubian Federation might even fall before Italy. It's weird that you don't want to change manpower law. Uh, you guys join this and just stretch this law. Um, you can, well, you're just gonna well go in like this. Really try to unite this front so we don't actually have to have two different areas. Cool. That was all my land now. You weren't here. You cleaned up this. Let's see losses currently. Five hundred thousand versus two point five nine million and five hundred thousand. Very good. And all these troops are just marching in. Very good. When the Spanish Empire comes to war. Hurrah. Hurrah. Bringing down Italy. Hurrah. Hurrah. And then it was the Nubian Federation. Then it was... Da, 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 da. Why am I so, in a such happy... I don't know why I'm so happy to, not right now. Hmm. I'm happy. Uh, maybe it's just Vacation who's finally settling like... It's very nice to have vacation. And this might be me just wanting to tease everyone that might not have vacation right now. I'm sorry, but remember that I still have three more weeks to take out this year. Three more paid vacations. Three, three more week of paid vacation. <sighs> it's just so nice and awesome to hear. Paid vacation. <laughs> Alright, you're bringing down this right here. I have, I, have, I have a slight problem how to actually deal with this. How in hell are we gonna break 47 divisions standing on one single province? Uh, let's see what happens after the Nubian Federation is down. You guys, please push in like this. Go in right here and then like... A wild air repair. It's super effective! And right now we're just marching in and getting more manpower because while well, grabbing all of this land. Very good. So let's even say like this. Time to be aggressive. Very, very aggressive. You s actually have switched manpower law. No, wait, you gained some manpower. From something at least. But, um, well, that disappeared very quickly. And now we don't have it anymore. Let's continue. Let's just summarize that or try to fix that into one front. Hmm, we might have to do some naval invasion, but that is a slight problem because, well, they have a big fleet, I don't. Uh, France, very close. You, very close. You, well, pretty close too. And you are being reduced by quite a bit. Very nice. And this medium tank should now be, well, designed by him. Wait, Spanish armor production designed by... Why does it say two guys? Is it something right here too? No? Wait, is it him? Uh, Manuel something something. Uh, let's double check. Designed by no. But that is that is sad. No, 
then, then it's just this single thing, yeah. And I've been, yeah, uh, never mind, never mind. Um, actually, we could switch this one out and then finally be done with everything. Yeah, there we go. Now we can research whatever we want to. And what I want to research is the last mechanized. So you'll get the extra hardness. Getting that extra hardness, I think, will really, really help me in having an extremely good tank division. And we could go for the modern tank straight away. I wonder if you are designed by anyone. Because I know this is... Medium tank. Is there anyone for, like, modern tank? I don't think so. So we'll see what happens if you get anything. Or maybe you are somehow counted as a medium tank too. That would be awesome, but... Well, I don't want to dream. Oh, really? Indian Wars begun right now? No one's... No neighbor seems to be able to keep the peace anymore. You... Everyone really hate each other. What is this? Don't try to invade me from behind or something. That's just evil. There you go. That removed. And I think the Nubian Federation will fall before Italy. <laughs> Crazy. Um. Oh. This was split in two apparently. So I want most of the divisions right there under... Well, most actually first just have everyone. Then just an order like this. Then I will just grab a tiny speck of troops right there. 19 divisions, that's good enough. And then execute both of these orders, please. And you're still gonna be very aggressive. Yeah, cool. Hmm, how to break this? Actually, you seem to lose a couple of divisions every time you do this. Are you falling back or... Yeah, temporarily falling back, so let's hold that. The Nubian Federation has capitulated and that was it. Kingdom of Spain has massively expanded. So it seems like the Nubian Federation fell before their dear friend right here. And how in hell haven't you... Well, okay, two more days. The Nubian Federation fell before their... Oh, they were the faction leader. Yes! <laughs> that I don't have to deal with the entire thing. I had completely forgotten about that. Oh, this is beautiful. Oh, let's, let's take up the map right now. So, uh, what we need to grab is basically the entire southern foot of Italy. Let's just drag this up massively and you'll see right here. So, we need to grab basically the entire heel. Uh, so, that island, this, this, we need to grab... Let's see, is that it? I think that might be it. It seems to be a bit higher on this... Actually, the, it, no, it can't contain, no, it's not including um, the capital, definitely not. But it might include the other area. See, 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 it's like going up a tiny bit right here. Hopefully you can see my mouse. And I'm thinking it might be this area, it's just that this is much larger in game. I'm gonna say it is. And if you don't like it, then I, if you really, really don't like it, I can fix it. So we need to grab both all of these areas first. And first of all, all right, let's end that turn and let's see what else is. Oh, actually, we need, still need to have the map up. Is there anything we're supposed to own? It seems like Genoa is supposed to be mine. So that province. Nice is supposed to be mine. Piedmont, probably, if we go Genoa right there in the corner and go up, it seems like, and Savoy, it's supposed to be mine. And maybe Provence, Alps and Alps right here is also supposed to be mine, but it's very hard to see exactly. But I'm gonna grab this and just tell me if it's horrendously wrong. Probably is, but yeah, I'm gonna grab that part. And let's see, is there anything from... Well, some people said that I was really in rule of the entire HRE, but I'm gonna follow this map. 
Let's see, anything else I'm supposed to grab? Any part of like Switzerland? No, I don't think so, not crap. Then I won't get anything right there. I will only get one big large extra puppet, or actually two big. Or should we split them up into very many small ones? No, 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 that's, that's, that's just bad, that's bad. I would get more milt. would, no, no, would I, no, yes, maybe. It's focus tree wise, I would probably get more military factories that way. Hmm. Uh, let's see. Alright, we will still have the entire thing. We'll get the event where it tells me that if I want to liberate them or not. Oh crap, that's a, that's a problem actually. The Nubian Federation is completely fine. I'm gonna take you and then you say, yeah, be my puppet. But we have a problem with Italy. I can't just, I can't make my puppet, that's why I'm just grabbing him right now. I'm just seeing what the hell can I do with you right now. Hmm. It's actually quite a big problem. The game doesn't allow me to just leave this as a puppet. All of this is of course a puppet. Um, I think I will have to console command it. Well, I need to grab it. I need to grab everything. Oh really, I need to pause the game, pass the game a couple times. Because right now, peace, peace deal is over, alright. Let's have one day tick, come on. Okay, let's, let's just release them then, right away. So, Danubian Federation. Mm, scroll, scroll, scroll. Social Republic of, actually, Social Socialist Republic of Italy. You only own the northern part, right? But that would include all of this. That is supposed to be mine. I think I have to console it exactly to see exactly what should be mine and what shouldn't be mine. So, Danubian Federation, you're going to be released as a puppet. Thank you. And, guys, please tell me what to do with Italy. I could release this entire northern part as... Um, Social Republic of Italy, well, it will become a puppet under my government form, so don't you worry about that. But either way, I, ha I have a choice. Either way, I'm console it and give them all of uh, a state. I basically console them. Can I do it? Yeah, yeah, I c probably could. I release... What I would do is release the Socialist Republic of Italy. Then I, I think... Basically just own a couple of territories right here. A couple of states, like these states, if I'm supposed to own them even. So anyway guys, I think I will leave that right now and see what you want me to do. So we have a very large puppet right now, the Nubian Federation. We're at peace, or well, we're at war with Somalia right now and we'd finish them off. But otherwise, we have all the land we should have from Italy. Um, so, uh, the two choices is I basically leave the no entire northern part of Italy and just say, fine. Or consulate and fix this to uh, fix these states to to me yeah um so i will leave you with that decision and um, i thank you if you know what i mean for this episode like and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time bye and bye